Well, it's a quarter after five in the morning here. And it's been raining all night long. And yeah, which is weird because it was 90 degrees yesterday and it's going to be 90 degrees at some point today and raining. The only bummer part about it is I have to keep all of my windows closed so that water does not get inside the RV. So it's really hard to keep the RV cool at night when it's this warm and muggy and raining. But anyway, I'm going to make some coffee and get my day started really early here and pray for the best. It's still a little wet out here. Not bad. It's going to dry up. Uh, they're calling for thunderstorms today in the next four days. So I'll just consider that and expect that it's not going to be dry. I just wish I just wish it wasn't so darn stinking hot when it's wet. Anyway, All right, let's get on the road. Oh, and you know, I don't know why I keep forgetting to talk about magnets during the time where I actually visit those locations, but I ended up getting this one from uh, Letchworth State Park. It's 3D, it has, uh, you can kind of shake it and it's like a globe and stuff. Focus, 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 please. Anyway, yeah, got that one to add to it. We're gonna start filling up this side here pretty quick. So I'm heading out of Geneseo, New York today. Sorry, I gotta hug this left line because these trees will stick out and scratch the heck out of the side of my RV. Um, and what you might notice in the next week to come is that I'm going to be doing, or have been doing, a lot of zigzagging north to south uh, to hit several locations and a couple other reasons. But basically all you really need to know is it looks like I'm not getting any farther east because I'm not really traveling that much east. I'm putting on miles north to south. And today I'm going to be going to a location that's only 31 miles from here. So 31 miles is my planned trip for the day. And um, the other reason why I'm doing this, so basically I went on freecampsites.net because I was like, man, there just there isn't anything in that part of New York up there along the main highway. So it's time to dart off of the main highway and enjoy some of these back roads, county roads, to, uh, to find some of these free campgrounds. So I. I'm experiencing that as well as, just so you know, I am biding my time a little bit because there's a possibility that I may uh, get to see someone I care about again this next weekend um, if she has two days off in a row. So um, I'm betting and hoping on that as well and working my schedule around that a little bit here. After that, it'll be more straight to the East Coast. But for today, um, let's try to find this free campground and, and get nestled in some trees, I think is a, a good plan. destination that I was trying to get to. Um, unfortunately, I can't camp here, and I'll show you why, talk to you why. Uh, big shout out to uh, freecampsites.net. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with that website at all, but I love what they're doing, and I love to contribute. And one of the cool things about it is, is when you get here, I can take pictures and update their site uh, with a little other information. This is the road down to what is advertised as three free campsites here in the National Forest. I have already walked down this once before and come back to get my RV. Reason being, I didn't quite like what I saw. It looked a little rough. And it's a really good thing I did because there's no way my RV would have fit down here or anybody's RV. Here is the first campsite. Uh, I do not feel like getting stuck in there. And if you continue on down here to the other two sites, 
First of all, look up here to the left. You got this big stump here. There's no way my RV could possibly miss hitting that on the left driver's side as I try to avoid some of these ruts here, which are, to say the least, not friendly to an RV or even a com like a regular car, really. Here's site number two, which could probably be pretty, pretty friendly to tent camping in a car or SUV if you got down here. And here's the main site. I guess this is kind of the primo spot here. A lot of leftover firewood. I don't see a whole lot of garbage, which is kind of nice. Although there is somebody's broken folding lawn chair right there. But generally speaking, this is a nice big open campground with lots of trees. Unfortunately, my blurb um, update would just be to say, um, you're not gonna get an RV down here. And there's a lot of vehicles that you're not gonna be able to get down here either. So no biggie, but uh, Thank you. I will post my exact coordinates. You can also go online and look up the Ocesa area and look at their coordinates. But this is where it led me. Um, you know, lately it's kind of weird. Um, I've been seeing everything looking like so green and so much moss in New York that, I mean, heck, if I'd have known it was this green and reminded me of back home, I don't think I would have waited this long in my life to venture out this far east. So... I'm really enjoying seeing all these sites, all the green and just beautiful forest areas of New York so far, but I've got to get back on the road. Or actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue the loop around and see if I can find a better spot to fit my RV and camp overnight. smiling a lot and, that, and um, that's because I've been in a really good mood lately that's that's a really good thing for me but honestly people are starting to tell me that my videos are getting boring it's like Eric it's the same old thing you just drive around and show the world and show us how happy you are nothing ever bad happens anymore there's no drama there's no nothing it's like okay I'm sorry there's plenty of channels that have a bunch of drama and problems I'm I'm gonna enjoy this while it lasts though sorry <laughs> running the generator right now and got the AC going on because <laughs> I just can't believe it. It's like cloudy and overcast and it's 91 degrees out here. Um, I can't get any solar, so I'm not, not getting sun and solar. So it's like, I'm just putting up with 90 degrees for the hell of it. So no, we're gonna turn the AC on for the next five hours and charge up the batteries and get everything good to go. Um, doing a time-lapse over there on the rock aimed that way. 
and I don't know anything about this place. I am the only person anywhere. No service. Earlier I was just looking at the map from when it stored it. No service of any kind out here, way out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm really happy about experiencing New York like this because um, I'm not going to lie to you. If I didn't know where I was at, I can promise you I would guess I'm in Washington. Washington State, my home state. Just from looking around, you know, evergreens, cedars, it's the same plant life, the same green. It's just, it's amazing to me. <laughs> um, I love it out here. Um, and I'm really glad that I am kind of taking my time through this area. So um, I'm going to grab a chair and have lunch out here. <laughs> that kind of looks like a concrete chair in the middle of the water, doesn't it? That's really odd. Got thrown out there in the water. Uh, anyway, um, I want to relax a little bit, so I am going to close this video out, uh, but I got a few more locations down here in this general area uh, for the coming week, and I'll keep sharing it with you. Again, check the video description below for the GPS coordinates of the place where I parked right here. Not the place that was farther away that doesn't have RVs, but if you plug in the GPS that I provided from my phone, it'll put you here. And then, anyway, all right, guys. Have a good day and see you in a couple days. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.